Transformations, Reflections and Translations, Level 7, Grade C, GCSE. Although, first part of this question is more Grade uh, D, Level 6, just a straightforward reflection. The fact that you have to know the equation of the line, what um, x equals minus 1 is. Well, here's x equals minus 1. So the equation of the line for x equals minus 1 is the vertical line that goes through minus 1. So we're trying to trans trying to reflect this shape. Whenever we're doing transformations, we just need to move the corners of the shape. So this reflection needs to be two squares on this side. And again, this corner needs to be two squares on this side. And this one is four squares. We need to come back four squares. And once we've got a few parts of the shape, we should be able to draw in the rest of the shape. But if you're not sure, then you should con continue to do the whole shape and transform it. Okay, so that's a reflection. It's worth two marks. Um, you would get one method mark if you reflected it um, vertically down to here um, because you got um, the line going across. You thought this was x equals minus one. So you would get one mark if you did it in the wrong direction. Um, but obviously you need to get all the points right for two marks. Okay, what single transformation map P onto Q? We're going from P to Q, so we're going from here to here. Um, the shape is exactly the same shape. It's not been rotated. It's not been reflected. So this is just what we call a, a well, what we call a translation. It's just the shape being slid across and down. And to work out how far, we need to think about um, the points, a point, and see how far that's moved from there to there. Be careful not just to move from this point to this point, uh, same by saying three across, one down, because that's got to be to the same position and same point. So we're going across two, four, six to the left and one down. So we could go six. Um, we've got to word, use the word translation. You get one mark for word, the word translation. Then you could say six to the left, one down. But more properly with translations, we need to write a vector. So 6 to the left is minus 6, and 1 down is minus 1. When we go into the left in translation, that's a minus number. To the right is a positive number, up is positive, down is negative, just as you would have thought by using the grid to guide you. And we always go across first, that's on top. Okay, so there you have transformations.